All right, I want to show you a couple of clips, just a few seconds of two clips, and then I want to talk about this idea of Satan being a god. As well as some videos and warning, they are disturbing. As you see in here, you know, full of lust and full of satanic imagery when they are performing this song and the guy who is wearing horns I mean not hiding and has women all around him full of lust and sensuality as well as dancers who are in the cage I mean full-blown demonic satanic expression and interesting enough the moment that this performance ends guess who sponsors this so watch this Pfizer well, yeah, well that's interesting okay now let's go to this other one I'm just gonna show a few seconds here how is Satan God of this world we're going to answer that question the phrase God of this world indicates that Satan is the major influence on the ideals opinions goals hopes and views of the majority of people his influence also encompasses the world's philosophies education and commerce the thoughts ideas speculations and false religions of the world are under his control and have sprung from his lies and deceptions Satan is also called the prince of the power of the air he is the ruler of this world these whoa 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 okay uh, John 12 verse 31 Satan is not the ruler of this world and see this is why you know people wonder why do you, why do I got a problem with got questions well, this is one example right here okay so what was that John 12 31 am I getting that right 12 31 Satan is not ruler of this world all right, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. This not, he's not the ruler. Um, God is the ruler of this world. God rules the entire world, and this he's going to judge this entire world. Now I want to show you, uh, just real quickly, you know all the corruption and perversion going on in all these Bible versions it's incredible the Amplified they got it wrong the complete B or J complete Jewish Bible got it wrong all right and uh, ESV of course they got it wrong and um, the message well that's surprising they got it wrong NASB they got it wrong the NIV how do they get it right that's incredible huh well they change and twist so many other stuff they don't need to change this one huh and the New King James version is not a New King James Bible at all keep that in mind that's one example right there alright so anyways um, I wanna talk about this idea see I think this question is wrong you know I just showed you the verse that they share they uh, shared on the screen is wrong and I I contend this question is wrong how is Satan God of this world Satan is not God of this world and Satan is no God at all right yeah all right, so I'm going to show you. And so if you're on the fence about this, I want you to remain neutral, keep an open mind, and let me show you a few things. And then uh, I'm going to encourage you to think about it. I know I'm not going to change anybody's mind. If, they're, if they got this idea wrong right now, it's going to take some thought to get it right. But you'll notice... Here in the Bible, first of all, I'm going to start out by doing this. And again, in case I wasn't clear, there's only one God, and Satan is not God at all. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of verses here. Has not one God created us? Only one God has created us, for there is none, for there is one God. So here in Mark 12, 
Verse 32, And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth. For there is one God, and there is none other but he. Now, this right here, if you believe that Satan is a God, then this is in contradiction with what you believe. All right, so you got a problem now. You have to either believe that is true, or you have to believe your, you, you know, you yourself. I mean, what are you basing this on? Well, I'll get into that. Okay, but let's continue. Seeing it is one God which justifies the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. See, it's always been about faith. But to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Ephesians 4, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. One God. For there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And of course, James 2, thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So let's first of all establish, it should be known, and I know it's hard to know anything, but it should be known the devils are not beings, they're not aliens, they're not men, they are spirits. And so also is Satan a spirit that is absent of God. And, the, and so Satan is not a God at all. Just a spirit that is absent of God. Now the other day I was talking about um, how um, a judgment day. It's, it's sort of like data where data you have the transmission of data where you have O's and ones or zeros and ones right and so also is the judgment um, the judgment of God when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven he's gonna look at are you a zero or are you a one do you have zero sins or do you have one sin if you have one sin you're cast into the fire you'll die the second death if you have zero sin, then you are saved forever. And the only way to have zero sin is if Jesus Christ covers your sin. And the only way for that is if you have faith and you believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, um, so also, um, you could think of it as, uh, apply this to, there's one God. And there's not two gods, there's only one God. And then Satan is the absence of one God. So there's no God at all as far as Satan being a God. There is only one God. Now, I'm going to have to deal with what you're going to have to deal with try to understand I think it's this one I don't know oh where am I at here oh there it is I had it right okay so in 2nd Corinthians 4 verse 4 in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the Im who is the image of God should shine unto them so you've heard me uh, numerous times talk about even unto this day when Moses is read the veil is upon their heart nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away all right second Corinthians 3 and then second Corinthians 4 it's talking about something very similar I wonder if I should do it this way because 3 comes before 4 Nevertheless, 
this again is directly related to what we read here when people do not believe the veil is upon their heart and when the veil is upon their heart their minds are blinded all right you get it so um, this is not at all saying that there's a God of this world this imaginary non-existent God has blinded them because they're uh, because they are absent of God again Satan is a spirit that is absent of God there is only one God there's not two gods there's not dueling gods there's one God and you probably heard people talk about dueling um, what do they call that the the black and white thing and the dueling forces and there's not dueling forces at all there's one force it's God and then there's the absence of God which is no force at all all right and so I want to go to Exodus 20 real quickly before I show you some other things here in the in uh, so the Ten Commandments um, is given here in Exodus 20 and in verse 3 it says thou shalt have no other gods before me so um, there is no other God period and so any God that is worshipped outside of the true God which is Jesus that is a false God that is not a God at all it's an imaginary made up God and we see um, there are problems with this going all the way back right now um, I want to show you a few other things false gods false gods are not gods at all oh other gods that's that's the phrase I'm looking for other gods all right Jeremiah will you steal will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom ye know not uh, other gods as in false gods as in imaginary gods that are not real gods at all there is only one God and again I'm gonna go back real quickly here and say if you believe there's more than one God you cannot reconcile these verses um, the truth there is one God seeing it is one God and to us there is but one God one God and father of all for there is one God you cannot reconcile your belief if you believe Satan is God with what the scriptures say again this is simple but it's important to understand that Satan is the absence of God so we could go and there's too many examples to really look at but we can go um, to Genesis 3 and I'll show you real quickly um, Satan is not mentioned it's the serpent but we can go oops, to Revelation and see that the great dragon that old serpent called the devil and Satan so we can see that the serpent is um, representative of Satan here in Genesis 3 and the serpent being absent of God a spirit that is absent of God so there's only one God and it's not Satan Satan is not a God at all and then I wanted to show a few more verses of this here thou shalt have no other gods before me 
and and make no and make no mention of the name of other gods. This is commanded. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So theoretically, if you're making Satan out to be another god, and that's coming out of your mouth, you are condemning yourself, right? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. The other gods are not gods at all. They're imaginary. They don't exist. It's like saying Casper the ghost is a god. Well, it's imagination. It's like saying Fred Flintstone is a god. It's not a Fred Flintstone is not a god. It's a cartoon character. It's not real. That's what people are doing. That it's the absence of God. No god at all. All right. I hope that's pretty simple to understand. And so again, I want, you know, I see a lot of people they're studying all these you know, they spend hours and hours watching this stuff. You know, people dressed in devil suits and doing the boogie woogie and, you know, all this other stuff. I mean, why? Why waste your time with this stuff? It's There's no value in it at all. None. None whatsoever. You're not going to get nothing. You're not going to get secret knowledge, understanding of nothing. To sit there and say, that's wicked. There's nothing special about that. There's no true value in that. Yeah, there's nothing to gain from that. Watching evil imagery all day long and saying, oh, well, that's evil. There's no value. It's not going to do anything good for you at all. All right, and then... Uh, you know, I, there's a lot of, what, 63? There are a lot of examples here of other gods. If you really wanted to uh, make this a study, I think it would be good. Um, but, let's see here. Uh, I think I made the point. I, I There's no verse. I can't say, hey, look at this verse. That supports your idea. Because there is none, none verse. And... So if we go to this video here suggesting 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 is a reference to Satan being a god. Satan is not a god at all. Is that the right verse? Yeah, so let's go back to it. i got to finish this, okay? But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost see they don't have faith they don't believe they're absent of God they're absent of the Spirit of God and whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not so there is no Satan God it's an imaginary God that does not exist okay does that make sense I hope it does because this idea that there is two gods that's a bad idea it's it's every bit as wicked to believe that than it is to dress up in a devil costume and do the boogie woogie and you know at the Grammys or what you whatever that is that's just as wicked to believe that Satan is God a God of any kind. Satan is not a being. Satan is not a God. Satan is a spirit that is absent of God. Alright, that's all I got.